Bazandalari Troll, El Adres is at long last going to be available in 8.1.5. This is a new playable race unlockable in Battle for Ezra. Now, Bazandalari Trolls will be released in patch 8.1.5 as a new allied race. And Battle for Dazzalor is what really creates the bond with the Zandalari Trolls and the Horde. And you must have Battle for Azeroth expansion installed. To get exalted with the Zandalari Empire may take several weeks to obtain because you can only earn a limited amount of reputation per time with World Quest and Emissaries. Tides of Vengeance will require you to finish up the War Campaign, both the 8.0 and the 8.1 components. Zandalari Forever You must complete all major lore storylines in Zoldazar, up to and including the final seal. Create a Zandalari Troll on a new server, you must already have a 110 character on that server. The available classes are Hunter, Mage, Monk, Paladin, Priest, Rogue, Shaman, Warrior, and of course, Druid. Now the Slate Direhorn is a starting pit for the Zandalari Troll Hunters. And usually you have to acquire the Ancient Tome of Dinomancy to tame Direhorns, but the Zandalari Troll get this one and the ability to tame by default. This is similar to the Nightborn getting the Mana Saber Cat by default, which is otherwise a spirit beast, but you have to tame requiring Beast Mastery spec. Now, this pet is also a perfect match for the Reigns of the Slate Primordial Direhorn Mount. The Zandalari Troll Racial Traits are Embrace Beloa, Embrace of Akunda. Your healing abilities have to change to heal their targets for 525. Embrace of Bonsomity. Your damaging abilities have a change to deal 87 shadow damage and heal you for 100% of your damage done. Embrace of Gonk. Increases the movement speed by 5%. Embrace of Kimball. Your damaging abilities have a change to cause the target to bleed for 260 over 6 seconds. Now this effect will stack up to 3 times. Embrace of Kregoire. You know, the big frog that everybody enjoys playing. Taken damage has a change to grant you 393 additional health and 66 armor. Embrace of Paku. Your abilities have a change to grant you 4% critical strike for 12 seconds. Teradex Swoop. Reduces your falling speed for 2 minutes. And this does have a 15 minute cooldown. Regeneration. Regenerate 100% of your maximum health over 6 seconds. Interrupted by damage. City of Gold. Increase gold earned from creatures by 2%. The languages that the Zandalari troll can speak is Orkish and Zandali. Now to choose your Loa, you'll have to go to their shrine and Dazzalor and attune yourself to them literally by making an offering to their shrine. There is currently a 5 day cooldown on this spell meaning you can only change your Loa every five days. In the comments section below, I'll put some very helpful TomTom -tom coordinates. Your Heritage Armor. Let's take a look at the Heritage Armor. The Zandalari Mount is the Zandalari Direhorn. Andalari Paladins can summon the Crusader's Direhorn. The Zandalari Male can customize hair color, hairstyle, skin color, face type, tattoos, tusk, 
and earrings. While the Zandalari female can customize their accessories, such as tattoos, hair color, hairstyle, skin color, face type, earrings, and tusks. Now, are you as excited about this allied race as I am? Let me know in the comments section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in Azeroth.